that was a, I think it was a 2011 Lone Star Classic. They uh, the same one where I the same weekend where I got a picture of a uh, Ted DiBiase. Uh, they had a Wizard World Comic Con thing going on with a big alley of wrestlers, all the old school wrestlers and some of the recently released people. And uh, the Nasty Boys were there, and they somehow were able to talk themselves onto the show. I was at first I was pumped and then, you know, immediately realized that was going to be a bad idea because they were, you know, they lived up to the name of nasty. They, uh, were big partiers drinking the whole time. And, uh, they ended up getting called out by a submission squad and, uh, they came down after a really long time and did, a unprotected chair shot to Pierre Abernathy, who I don't think ever had taken a chair shot before to the head. So and he didn't know that was coming, and uh, just it was just really bad. And then they just kept cutting promos, and uh, like saying or knobs just kept saying like I don't care if this ends up on YouTube, and nobody was filming it, so there wasn't a big worry about that. Uh, and they came out and just kind of ruined the end of the show. It was you know a tournament with ACH, and uh, where he ended up winning the title, ACW title, in the tournament first time i because i have the dvd of that i believe there's one part where jerry sags is like continually trying to get ach to like stretch out his injured ribs <laughs> but yeah he uh came out and was there happened to be an empty seat that he just took front row i think someone had got up and then just weren't gonna have their seat back so he was out there a few matches trying to get like this uh photographer chick to do up skirt shots on athena and <laughs> stuff like that and uh then when ACH came out, he had his ribs taped up, and, you know, Sags wanted to add to it. You know, he was at least attempting, trying to add, and just went up. And uh, as ACH was walking up, he kind of lifted his arm up and then just slapped him real hard in the ribs and said he was good. <laughs> and then ACH got in the ring, and they were about to start the match, and they actually rang the bell, and then Sags stood up. was like, hold on, hold on. I don't think he should continue. His ribs are really bad. And then just everyone just had to do the awkward. I think the entire building just awkwardly ignored Jerry Sags. And uh, they had the match. And then, uh, of course, he got in the ring when ACH won and uh, just wouldn't leave. And ACH was uh, trying to cut a promo. And uh, Brian Knobs, who's on the opposite side of the ring from me, uh, threw a full beer and uh, hit the ring right in front of me. So I got covered in... Uh, beer from brian knobs and then he just <laughs> kept chucking off beers the at sags and then ACH tried to cut this promo and they were trying to wait because gary J was going to be coming out and attacking ach but nobody would want to run out there because you don't know what sags is going to do and luckily uh, colt cabana who was on the show got in the ring got him out and uh that we could do the thing and uh like ach was trying to get me to get sags out and i was like how the hell am i supposed to get jerry sags out but Cole Cabana was able to do it. And after the show, uh, Brian, not like they were drinking and stuff and now was hammered and he kept making his way outside. And I guess he, uh, there was something weird going on. I don't know if he was just, uh, being very, uh, handsy feely or just real. It wasn't a good situation. Whatever was going on where a bunch of guys just said, Hey, we need to go kind of observe what's going on. We don't know what's happening, but it could end up not good just like an awkward situation. And we, a bunch of us went down there and I ended up, uh, we kind of got the people away from him. And I ended up with another guy having to baby, basically babysit Brian knobs on, uh, on the street, trying to get him back in. And, uh, he had a full beer. Like he had a beer out on the street, which is illegal. He can't have an open container on the street. And, uh, he asked me, well, first he uh, ended up calling Stone Cold Steve Austin on a cell phone, and Stone Cold did not answer, but he left a voicemail, and so I, I got why. to yell in the Stone Cold's voicemail, and I did say, and that's the bottom line, because I didn't know what the hell to say. And uh, <laughs> they ended up, uh, he hung up on him. I actually had to hang up. He was too drunk to figure out his Android phone, and I had to hang up on Stone Cold Steve Austin for uh, Brian Knobs. And uh, he ended up, <laughs> Trying to look, he had his fanny pack because he's old school, and he was trying to look for something. He asked me to hold his beer, and right as a cop was driving by, and so I just said, "I'm just going to sit it down here because it's illegal and there's a cop there," and that immediately set him off. Like I was judging him, and this continued for about <laughs> ten to fifteen minutes 
no matter what I said, I was some like everything was just like like you're making a mockery of me. You know you like you. He actually told me that uh, I wasn't a real Texan, like I wasn't a tough Texan. And I did tell him, you know, I'm so you're right. I'm not nasty enough. And he kind of got offended by that. <laughs> and it was just the whole time, just like he was like an, like this close, like an inch away from my face, and just uh, and he's big. Like, I didn't think, you know, the nasty boys could, like, you know, let go, but they did. And uh, he just, uh, you couldn't, I finally was able to get him back inside at the least. And then later on, he uh, was outside again. Like, I was leaving the show, and uh, he was with some other guys drinking again on the street. And I was like, I'm just going to, you know, maybe he's already forgotten because he's pretty drunk. And I went up and shook the other guy's hands, and then I just went and put my hand out and said, it was an honor meeting you, sir. Have a nice night. And as he reached and started shaking my hand, he just said, fuck you, as he's shaking my hand. And then starts <laughs> calling me, like, basically, I think he called me a party pooper. And uh, just started going off of me as he's shaking my hand. And then luckily, we're kind of on a hill, and uh, Sags was at this hot dog stand and yelled at Knobs if he wanted a hot dog. And as he turned and let go of my hand, I just immediately turned around and walked away. And then I kind of... Uh, looked back and I could hear him like, you know, fuck. Cause he was mad. Cause I walked away as he was berating me. So that was a pretty proud moment. So basically what you're saying is you're living the dream. Yeah. Who, you know, thank God for hot dogs. I'd still be shaking his hand right now. <laughs> getting braided. That's amazing. <laughs>